When you were growing up, was it always a goal to play for Scotland? What were your memories of, of starting playing football when you were younger? Yeah, always was. The first chance I had with Scotland schoolboys, and I remember how much that meant, you know, under um, 15s to play for Scotland and meant such a big deal then. And every time you progressed into the youth teams and the under 21s and then your first full cap, you know, it means a lot. Um, representing your country is uh, it's the ultimate, really. You're always one, you all come together, and um, you grow up watching and hearing stories about famous Scotland results, and you want to be a part of it. Who was your Scotland hero growing up? Uh, Gary McAllister um, yeah. played midfield. I think that um, I just, you know, he was a box-to-box midfielder. He was a captain, and I just remember, um, yeah, he was he was my favourite player uh, uh, growing up. And we have the pleasure of yeah. him being with the squad just now, so it's always nice to to listen to his stories and to try and um, tap in some information from him. What do you remember from your debut for Scotland? Um, my debut away in Norway. Um, I remember. Um, my teammate Ollie Gunnar Solskjaer was playing for Norway, so I had a nice moment with him. We swapped strips. But I was just desperate to get on the pitch and show what I could do, and I managed to do that. Um, did okay when I came on. It was a friendly, a nil-nil game, so not very much happened in the game. So it was probably the Lithuania game at Hamden. The next time that uh, obviously coming off the bench and scoring the winner, it's probably more memorable. Tell us about that, because you're obviously still so young playing for Man United so everyone was very much aware of you but to mm. score that goal it really put you on the map. Yeah I don't think I'd played in the Premier League in the season so I'd played a couple of games in the Champions League the year before so you know to play for Scotland before you're really playing for Man United is you know people know about you but um, to come off the bench and score a winner it's the stuff dreams are made of and it's a special moment I still look back on it with fond memories and it gives you great confidence after that when you can do something like that. Do you think like the fact that so many important moments came so early and scoring that goal against Lithuania so young, do you think that sort of helped you in your career, the fact that you've achieved so much at such a young age? Yeah, I think it did. I think it obviously maybe people at Man United realised that you know I was playing at the highest level for Scotland and, and I couldn't do it and maybe trusted me more to play for Manchester United and then you get maybe that trust is probably the biggest thing. Managers know they can trust you, then you play and you do well and you manage to stay in the team. So I think combination of everything really. I look back on that goal as a, as a very mo- important moment in my career and, and a one that gave me great confidence and probably helped me in the early stages of my career and, and play so, so well in it as much as I did. How much do you enjoy being captain? Is that something that you sort of relish? It's a great honour. I think that it's uh, first and foremost. I think that I don't try and think too much of it. I just try and be myself. I think it's just something that managers see in you and, and, and think that you're the best to lead the team by example. As I said before, there was times where I've not been captain and I haven't changed the way I approach games or how I am on the pitch or how I am in the dressing room. I think that the biggest thing is just be yourself and try and be someone you're not. Someone obviously sees something in you that thinks you're captain and, and just won't run with it, really. The first time you pulled on the armband was back in 2004. You were only 20 years old. What was that like? Yeah, it was quite surreal. I remember the picture. I think Malky Mackay's walking out like third in line and... Malky's about older than me now and looks like he's my dad but I had probably about eight or nine caps at that point and, and did looking around I ended up being I was one of the more experienced members in the squad in terms of caps and I think uh, obviously Bertie votes wanted to give me confidence and, and Bertie was thinking long term and how much confidence he could give me and it was something I was really comfortable at the time I must remember it was a shot to me that it was given to me but on reflection I think I was very comfortable in the situation and, and, and was one that I relished and looked forward to I think he wanted to, as another confidence booster really, and felt it was something that I could strive towards and would bring out another level of performance in me, and I think it did that. You've worked under so many sort of leading figures in the game, worked alongside a lot of inspirational figures too. What's the sort of best advice that you've been given? Um, I always, Alex Ferguson always used to say, go and enjoy yourself. You know, when you strip it all back, it was simple as that. You know, go out there and enjoy the moments and relish the moments and savour them and obviously winning them, you enjoy them more. So, you know, all these points were hit home to me. And then the other one was Tommy Burns, um, who he's, he, he praised me for my courage and always wanting the ball. And even when I made mistakes, I always wanted the ball again. And, and he and he pulled me to the side. And I don't think I had my best game, but he complimented me for the fact that I didn't hide. And then I think he said, never lose that because people see courage in different ways, but he's seen courage in someone who was willing to do that. And that's always stuck with me.